In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the Strabo field app and create a project. Here we're looking at my iPad screen. I'm in the app and I'm about to sign into my account. It presents me with this menu. So I'll tap start a new project and we can start filling in some information about our project. I'll put in a name here. I'll call it the Strabo demo project. It comes pre-filled with a start date and we can put in an end date. I'll put next week. We can put in some notes. Let's write notes about project. And then we can put in our magnetic declination to correct our strike and dip measurements. So I'll put in a two there because I'm at two degrees. And you can fill in all of these other fields if you'd like. I'll leave these for now and I'll tap save new project. This tab opens up on the left here. You can see our active project, Strabo demo, and it comes built in with a default data set. We can rename this. So I'll call this Joe's data set. I'm Joe, by the way. And we'll save that. And if we'd like to create a new data set, we press that plus icon and we'll call this one data set two and save that out. So I can toggle these sliders and it should that'll uh, affect which data sets are shown on the map. So if I slide that, uh, it'll ask me if I'd like to make it current. That means new data will be saved into data set two as opposed to data set one. I can tap yes. And if you have a look on the left here, you can see the active data sets and data set two has the tick next to it. That means that's where new data is being saved. If I tap Joe's data set above it, the tick will be next to that and new data set will be saved into Joe's data set. Now we can toggle these sliders on and off and you can create as many data sets as you'd like. 